What's growing on gardeners? On today's two minute garden tip, I'm going to show you a way to grow high quality table grapes in the hottest and most humid climates, even all the way down to southeastern Texas. Born in 1843, the famed horticulturalist T.V. Munson spent much of his life in Texas developing super disease resistant, high quality varieties of grapes that were suitable for commercial production that could survive the harsh conditions anywhere in the state of Texas. You see, down here in the south, we have a disease called Pierce's disease disease that affects grape vines and once the vines are infected they begin going into decline and it is fatal. It's only a matter of time until they are killed and that doesn't even begin to deal with the other bacterial and fungal diseases we have to deal with that destroys crops of grapes like black rot. Munson was able to develop a wide array of varieties of grapes that were resistant to Pierce's disease that could grow anywhere in the state of Texas and are so disease resistant they are virtually sprayless. You could grow organic grapes suitable for table eating pretty much anywhere in the South. The problem is many of these old heirloom varieties of grapes have fallen out of favor for the very large seedless modern varieties of grapes that we are used to seeing today. However, there are virtually no varieties of seedless high quality grapes on the market right now for residential growers to grow that are Pierce's disease resistant. Pretty much all of the Pierce's disease resistant seedless varieties that I've seen that are pretty new aren't available to residents. They're really just for commercial farms. So in modern times, if you were a southern gardener that wanted to grow grapes, your options were to pretty much grow muscadine varieties or just deal with the new varieties on the market and just wait for their inevitable death and ultimate low yields. But with the resurgence of interest in backyard gardening, a lot of these older heirloom varieties of grapes are being rediscovered. That's why I'm incredibly excited to show you this old heirloom grape that I'm growing called Mrs. Munson. It is a TV Munson variety developed back in the 1800s that was recently rediscovered and is becoming popular again. This variety is only on its second year in ground and it has already produced a nice crop of grapes for me. This variety is immune to Pierce's disease and it's loading up with really nice looking purple grapes. And some of the grapes are seedless. Some of them have anywhere between one to three seeds. So it's for this reason that they have lost popularity because people today are obsessed with large seedless fruit. However, if you're willing to deal with the very tiny seeds that are very easy to just easily spit out or just use a food mill to process into jams and jellies, the flavor is absolutely incredible. And I have grown this grapevine right here completely sprayless, completely organically. I have not bagged any of the grapes at all. They are just growing out in the open. These old heirloom grapes have largely fallen out of favor to the consumer in grocery stores because grocery store consumers are used to seeing perfect blemish-free large fruits, and these fruits are more inconsistently sized. However, they are perfect for the backyard gardener who only cares about flavor and disease resistance. Now, when you remove them, they do tend to tear a little bit, so you have to be careful upon harvest. But if you're willing to deal with imperfect looking fruit, you will be rewarded with incredible flavor. In fact, so unique are these that I blindfolded Brittany and I gave her these fruits and she couldn't even identify what they were. She didn't even know they were grapes because they taste nothing like any grape I've ever had. Mm. Both of those grapes were completely seedless. They taste nothing like a grape. They honestly taste like a cross between a plum, a cherry, and maybe a blackberry. And the only thing grape related here is the texture. Here are two more. Mm. And one of them had one seed in it. So for all four grapes, I had one seed between them all. And honestly, I've never had a table grape that good before. It is so complex and unique, you don't even know that they're grapes if all you've ever had over the course of your whole life are supermarket grapes. So if you live in a hot, humid climate like I do, and you previously thought growing table grapes was off limits, and you didn't want to grow muscadine varieties, consider this TV Munson variety, Mrs. Munson. I will drop a link in the video description that shares a number of TV Munson's varieties that he bred over the years that is a great resource that you can page through and I'll also place a direct link to where I bought this vine from it was very affordable it shipped quickly and in only two years I have fruit and I expect the fruit clusters to get larger every single year after this and that's today's two minute garden tip if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to receive new video notifications and check out our Amazon storefront and spread shop in the video description for a list of the gardening products I use and awesome custom designed apparel and other gear, your support is greatly appreciated.